Hey there, Frank Baker, Hunter Crone, Lakefront Group. Today we're going to talk about how to keep your waterfront improvements in tip-top shape. What do you think? So different waterfront improvements, uh, I guess, call for or require different levels of maintenance. So retaining walls is probably the first one. We were mm -hmm. just talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, you had a retaining wall uh, that you ended up replacing um, on Lake McQueenie, correct? Actually, I had one of the old cedar posts um, that you know was starting to wash away and got tired of filling in behind it with dirt, you know, to keep it uh, the grass growing, um, and eventually just bit the bullet and replaced it. And I was so glad I did because I actually I feel like I've got more than my money back on the bulkhead because the next buyers walking in were going to think, you know, that's the first thing I had got to do is spend money to get a bulkhead. Yeah, and and taking that. A equation out for them that to get it fixed and it looks so much better it was uh, it definitely enhanced the property and made it sell faster I believe yeah because it was ongoing maintenance yes. and then once you put the 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 C lock, C -lock. is a uh, interconnecting PVC panel mm -hmm. that gets driven down like four or five foot into the ground and again interlocks with the next panel so that erosion shouldn't theoretically happen for sure because the water doesn't pass for it. those cedar posts as they age the posts get narrower and narrower and the gap between them gets wider and wider and so the water can get in wash out and wash out that dirt mm -hmm. and you got to end up putting big rock in then little rock then like a uh, what is it the weed mats and then you right. got to put the dirt in and cement retaining walls are very similar I grew up with a cement retaining wall and that is the most important thing to maintain is a seawall a cement retaining wall because once it starts getting eroded, that wall is liable to collapse, fall in the lake or down, and it's hard to it's hard move. to repair that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hard to get those out of the way. That's a yeah, yeah hefty build to replace if the, if the wall falls over and you've got to get that cement right out of the water. Um, so I've, we've seen a few of those. Uh, in my day that, that have fallen over. And it's a lot of time just lack of maintenance. When I was a kid, my parents used to give me a, a Ziploc bag of concrete, dry concrete, mm -hmm. and I would go along once a year and just kick my foot and feel for voids and then oh, we really? just go under the water and shove the the dry concrete <laughs> bag and of course the concrete bag rips as it goes in there but it hardens yeah. um, and, and it kept our wall perfectly straight right. the entire time we owned it for like 15 years okay so but if we didn't do that especially for the 15 years you, that's when you see those walls fail yeah so a lot of, so another thing that i see are the uh, deck boards that uh, are along the docks and the bulkheads you know water can whether it's rain whether it's lake whatever can be damaging to wood Absolutely. and um, i see a lot of when i go to listing appointments a lot of the wood there's a lot of wood rot down at the dock and it's just over time you just neglect it and just don't replace it and that's one of the first things i recommend they do is replace it or go with that uh, product that you always recommend deck over mm -hmm. uh, you can get it at home depot um, and it it protects it pressure wash the deck and then you go over the top of it and it makes it look consistent but yeah because if you replace a new board next to an old board sure. even if you use some sort of like transparent stain you, you can always tell mm -hmm. which one is the new board a deck over is like that it's like a gritty sandy thick paint that fills the voids and it makes it actually right. look like a uh, composite material yeah. a trex or something yeah to that effect because again switching these docks out to a trex or it's expensive it gets expensive most people for new construction uh we're recommending concrete docks uh it's actually cheaper than trex mm -hmm. believe it or not um, and again, the maintenance factor, <laughs> yeah. a pressure washer once a year. Right. So um, next, I guess, final thing I would say is, is paint. You know, um, as a good friend of mine, Eric, pointed out uh, before I started this video, <laughs> that uh, I had to sandblast my entire boathouse because it wasn't properly prepped prior to being painted on the original yeah. time. I went a little overboard on that, I have to admit, but I wanted it done right. I plan on keeping this house forever, mm -hmm. and I wanted it to last as long as possible, so I stripped it down to bare metal, used a primer, and then painted on top of that, because a lot of these paints, being on the water, only last two or three years. Right, right. You can keep painting layer over layer, but um, it's keeping up with that is, is uh, a necessity if you want to sell it 
and people don't like to see chipping and rusting paint on your boathouse. For sure, very rare do I see a boathouse that doesn't need attention. Most all of them need some type of paint, some yeah. some uh, prepping and uh, sanding. But uh, a lot of people, it's, it's a frustrating point of mine. They have two million dollar lake house, and there's nowhere for their guest to tie tie up to. <laughs> you know, it's like a steel metal fascia that has you know, and you pull up in a. $150,000 wakeboard boat and a wakeboard uh, a wake surfer goes by and it rips off your rub rail. So I'm a big opponent uh, or a proponent. proponent or advocate for putting vertical post so there's no lip for the boat to catch. If all right, all right. I'll put one in for you at my house so yeah, you can come over absolutely. and raid my fridge. Absolutely. <laughs> I need the code to the door too. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if we miss something or if you think of anything else or have a question for us, please reach out or comment below. Have a wonderful day.